Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. So, very casual start to the episode. Better dive into episode number 41 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This one is called The Abyss. So in the previous episode, number 40, Homunculus, the Dwarf in the Flask, we had a really good backstory about Father and Hohenheim, how everything came to be. It was an amazing, amazing episode. A lot of information was dumped on us and it was very cool learning about Hohenheim and where he came from, where Father came from, and the fact that Hohenheim is actually a philosopher's stone in human form. Mind blower, man. Absolutely. And I really like the fact that Hohenheim took the time out to heal Azumi, who had been very sick for most of the series because she used the alchemy to try and bring back her son and then lost all her organs. So he healed her enough that the blood was flowing better and she is going to be better off. Still not 100%, but she might be coughing up blood every five minutes. So we're about to dive into The Abyss. Not literally. That would be bad. Have you guys seen James Cameron's The Abyss? It's a great movie. Sidetracked. Okay, let's dive into the episode. As you know, it's a timer based reaction, so grab your copy and watch along. I also have exclusive and early release content over on my Patreon. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. I just watched another anime before this one and I was, wasn't very loud, so I cranked up the volume and now I just like bled my ears out <laughs> starting this one. Okay, The Abyss. What does that mean? The abyss. I don't know. What, I don't know what to expect. I'm still mind blown by the last one. So, Hohenheim was a slave raised in Xerxes. I thought he'd been created. I got a little bit confused, but I just read my synopsis. So he was just a nameless slave. They took blood from him and created the homunculus, which was kept in the flask. And then the homunculus tricked the king into making a massive transmutation circle and it killed everyone in Xerxes, granting amazing power and immortality to Hohenheim and the homunculus. Man, that was like a keystone event. That was a massive, massive episode. It just basically explained everything. And Hohenheim is a philosopher's stone. So that means he's um, suddenly the hot property. The boys need to know this. They can use him to heal themselves. Get Al's body back. Whose soul is reaching out to him, to his metal, his metal body right now. He could be dragged, kicking and screaming back into the, the abyss. Oh crap, is that the abyss? Meanwhile, we've got these guys here. Going to the fort, but there's people on the way to get them. And Ed's currently on his way to try and warn them. Shit. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. I wouldn't be so so calm about that. I've seen enough action movies. They are after you. Marco still looks like Marco, even though he's horribly scarred, so Scar just didn't need to do that to him. Honestly. Hope Al's not frozen out there somewhere. Kill him dead. Yeah, man. The Abyss. That sounds very ominous. Yeah, do not talk about it. Yeah. No mercy. 
Strike hard, strike first, no mercy, sir. What's that from, do you know? I'll leave it with you. You do? So I think our team here are about to be ta to be attacked. Nice. Right. Right. Wow. He bought he bought it here. Have they got golden eyes? I haven't really paid any attention to that. <laughs> yeah, she'll go right under. Oh, it's Al. There he is. His foot. See? Arrow. <laughs> That's my husband. She's like seven years old. What is she doing to his arm? Sure did. He's wearing armor. He's okay. To warn you. Yeah, that's right. Don't go there. Cool. Oh. He's inside. 
<laughs> so they got a second set of armor from somewhere. He looks extra bulky. Ooh, snipers. Sounds like sounds like Jaws is coming. Ooh, he's pretty quick. Murderous intent. The murder intent sent. Wow. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, shit, who's this? What? Wow. Cool. Solf. Now he's gonna fight a couple chimeras. Use your senses, man. He looks very cool. Oh. Ouchies. So we've got an, an, a lion, a lion and an ape. Chimera. I'm getting attacked by monsters. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah oh, well. He just fell to his death. The end of Ed. <laughs> Cause he's short. Oh, more dynamite. Are they wet?
Oh, um, gas them out. Oh, they're foaming at the mouth. I'm only, um, isn't that like rotten eggs? We're having a fight between the two main guys. Kim Lee. There goes the Philosopher's Stone. Oh! Yeah. Why is his eyes glowing? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. That's a big bang. What the hell just happened? Kimberly just blew Ed up. And he's unconscious. No, he's okay. Oh, these two guys. He'll save them too because that's what kind of guy he is. Oh. Why is he dripping a lot of blood? Oh, oh shit. Well, that's bad. Oh no. He's impaled. That would hurt. What happened to Al? Oh no! Oh my god! This is getting tense! Oh, shit, the boys are in trouble in this one. Oh, oh boy. He's twitching, he's okay. He's not well, but he'll live. Oh, nice. Now save me. Help him. No. Return the favor. Yes, please. They'll do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, he'll, he'll bleed out. He's going to... Oh, shit. How could you concentrate? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah, because the stone's created by sacrifice, right? Oh, God. Bloody hell. This is going to hurt. How would you have enough... How would, how would you be able to concentrate to heal yourself with what he needs to do? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, and it's coming out slow as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, why so slow? Oh, boy. Unless he passes out first. Oh, that was very brave. Oh, I'm, I'm shook. That was tense. Is he okay? <laughs> He's fine. Took a few years off his life though. Oh, he's in pain. Yeah, he's... He's out. Oh, the stone. Yeah, they don't like him. No love lost. They're going to join the good guys. Nice boys. Well done, I'm happy. I love that. They were like the enemies at the beginning of the episode and now here they are saving his life. That's good. That makes me feel happy. Happy even. Sometimes I say words and they don't, they don't finish or come out correctly. Don't judge me, you. I like these new songs, man. Oh, I have a question. So when you're watching along with me here, are you watching the dub version or the sub version? Let me know. I'm definitely going to check out the sub version when I rewatch the Blu-ray. I think I mentioned that before in a previous reaction, just to mix it up. I've been watching One Piece on Crunchyroll, and I did the first nine episodes subtitled with the, orig with the original Japanese, and then I have switched to the dub version. And you know what? It's just as good. It's still very cool. The American voices are very fun. Do you watch One Piece? I was considering I was considering reacting to it on my channel, but there's just there's just so many episodes I couldn't, so I just watch it on my own. 
there is a lot of filler. So um, I elected not to. Okay, so I, I have been called out, like I said, about the stingers at the end of the credits, how I've pretty much obliterated any chance of seeing those. So I'm still getting called out about it. I know, I'm, I've missed them. So I didn't know they were part of the show when I was doing my getting all my prep work, getting everything ready for, for my reactions. So fear not, like I said, I'm going to watch the Blu-ray. I'll catch them all. But hopefully I'm not missing too much of an important piece of information with these you know, stingers being taken away from me by myself. I'm stupid. But um, yeah, good episode. So Al's in a bit of trouble. Like his body keeps calling out to his soul and Ed is all fucked up having just been speared through the side. So they're both having a bit of a moment where they're not at 100% capacity. So I'm hoping in the next episode they'll be, be right as rain. But we do have that time frame now, our time limit, because, you know, soul's calling out to him and everything's just going wrong. Anyway, I'm going to dive into the next episode. So I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.